great honor to introduce um, our uh, Shoreline Infinity friend, Tendai Huchu, who is one of the editors of our new issue of Shoreline Infinity, which shines a spotlight on BAME sci-fi writers. His own writing has appeared in many publications, including Lightspeed, Interzone, and Afro SF. Um, his new fancy novel, The Library of the Dead, is going to be published by Tor next year. So please put your hands together for Tendai Huchu. Thank you, everyone. Um, good evening, and um, it, it's great to have you all, you know, attending this event from the comfort of your living rooms. You know, back in the old days, people had to go outside, you know, and go to the stake in a physical space where they're breathing the same air and stuff. So it's crazy to think they used to do that, but this is so much more convenient. Um, it was quite an honor to guest at this particular issue and a lot of work too, but um, shout out to Noel Chadwick, uh, Russell Jones, of course, Tipa Goldschmidt, Mark Twain, all the guys at, at Shoreline Infinity, of, of Infinity that made this, this happen because it's only when you actually do this that you actually realize the sheer amount of time, effort, labor that goes into producing a magazine. Uh, especially at the end stages where they're dealing with the artwork and the physical production of the thing itself. There is an awful lot of work that goes into this. And then you've got these kind of events, which is another element of, of, of labor, you know, that, that, that these guys do. It is absolutely remarkable. But I will confess, when I was first asked to guest edit this issue by uh, Pippa Goldschmidt, when she proposed the idea to me, I was a little bit ambivalent and conflicted. Now, every serious writer I know uh, works very hard at their craft and they produce their thing and they send it out in the world to magazines or publishers, depending on whether it's a full length manuscript or short story or poems or whatever it is. And they send it out in the hope that it will get evaluated based on its literary merit and the gatekeepers of the industry will either accept it, which is always great, or more likely reject it based on its sheer merit, right? Uh, but we all know this doesn't always happen. I'm not even gonna speak about my personal experiences where I've sent work out and had feedback that my work has been turned down because my background was affected to whether they could take it on or not. Because when you really think about it, all writers, whoever they are, get rejected. It's all part of the game. But when you get rejected because of the literary merit of what it is you are doing, you can always go back, improve your craft, work really hard, you know, work on your characterization, on your use of language, basic mechanical issues like grammar or punctuation, uh, your characterization, you can write a better story and come back in a few months or a few years and say, hey, here's another thing for you to look at. But when you are turned down because of your background, I mean, there isn't really much you can do about that. It's not exactly like you can go off Michael Jackson it and say, hey, I'm now the right demographic. Now will you take my stuff, right? That's the door shut. Um, so when I went about, you know, having meetings with Noel Chadwick, trying to suss out the intention of this particular issue, the great thing was I quickly realized that Shoreline wasn't just trying to do like a one-off, let's have a diverse thing and hooray, great, we're done with that, back to business as usual what they were fundamentally trying to do is to say, we will open up to these writers that, you know, might even look at your line and think, well, this is a Scottish thing. They're not even interesting, interested in, in my work. And to say, okay, we have an open submissions, show us your stuff, send us your work. We are open to receiving these kind of diverse works that we normally don't get in the hope that in future, those writers that have responded to the call out 
will come back again and hopefully you will end up finding more diverse works coming in, which is great for readers as well because you want new, you know, fresh stuff, the, the, the kind of stuff that you normally don't see. Um, so I should say, again, um, the, the stories that I put in here, because I was dealing with the fiction and then Raman was dealing with um, the poetry, are purely in this edition because of their artistic merit. Um, and this is a subjective decision. You have a different editor, they might have come in with a different cohort of stories, and this is understandable. And that's why different institutions need a diverse range of stuff, because that has a bearing on the outcomes on who gets published and who doesn't. Um, I firmly believe that the writers in this particular issue, um, because of their talent and their dedication to their craft, are worthy of inclusion in any SFF publication around the world. And indeed, we've been fortunate to get writers that are really successful that have been published around the world. And we've also had new up, you know, writers at the beginning of their career coming in. So you have this really wide range of, of, of um, material uh, in this particular publication. And I really should say the whole point of doing this, no one wants a fucking handout, all right? No one wants anything handed to them, but we are at least trying to create a level playing field so that the future editions of the magazine will be more representative and writers can at least approach this one small magazine in one small country in the world um, and hopefully be assured that their work will be taken seriously by whoever is at the other side of, of, of um, you know, of the desk, as it were. So thank you very much for turning up. I do hope that you will buy issues of this magazine and you will continue to support Shoreline of Infinity. Um, but I think I've rambled on quite a bit now. So it's over to you, Russell, and hopefully we will, you know, enjoy the actual artists that we're celebrating today. Thank you. <laughs>